Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about ionization energy. Ionization energy means it is the minimum amount of energy that is required to remove outermost valence electron from its gaseous state. What is meant by outermost electron? Outermost electron means electron that is present in the last shell is called as outer, outermost electron. Suppose take sodium. Sodium is an element with 11 electrons. So why it is, it is losing one electron? Why we want more amount of energy to remove that outermost electron? Because here in the periodic table except noble gases remaining all the elements they try to get noble gas configuration by losing their outermost electrons or by gaining electrons to its outermost shell. In this ionization energy to form cations or to lose electrons from its outermost shell we have to apply little energy. That energy is called as ionization energy. In this sodium is element with 11 and its nearest noble gas is neon with 10 electrons. So to get like a neon you should lose one electron. If you see the structure of sodium this is the structure with the first shell two electrons and the second shell with eight electrons and the third shell with one electron. Two plus eight ten, ten plus one is eleven. For sodium third shell that is M shell is outermost shell in this only one electron is present. That's why this electron is called as outermost electron of sodium. To remove this electron, first of all we have to convert sodium from its solid or a liquid state to its gaseous state. Here is the representation, sodium with 11 electrons is called as neutral element. This from its solid state to we are converting into gaseous state and then we are applying little amount of energy that is called as ionization energy and we are removing this outermost valence electron that's why i kept here minus one e and after removing we will get na plus na plus means sodium after losing one electron we got na plus with 10 electrons then it became equal to neon and then what are the factors and trend of ionization energy in the periodic table what is the trend of ionization energy in the period and group in the periodic table this is called as group and horizontal row is called as period this is period and this is group vertical column and horizontal row ionization energy here going down the group it decreases its value decreases and in a period from left to right increases ionization value down the group decreases and going from left to right its value increases why what are the factors that affects this ionization energy value here first of all see those atomic size atomic size means here in the first let us take first group element hydrogen and then if you take here lithium and then sodium and then potassium hydrogen is with one electron it is present in first shell and in the lithium 1s2 2s1 the second electron in the second shell for the sodium outermost electron is present in third shell like this and for the potassium outermost electron is present in the fourth shell here it is first shell and it is for the lithium outermost electron is present in the second shell and for sodium it is in the third shell and for the 
potassium outermost electron is present in the fourth shell going down the group here the distance between this nucleus and outermost shell is increasing if you observe here this is a distance between nucleus and outermost shell for hydrogen and this is for lithium and this is for sodium and if you observe for potassium this is as outermost electron of potassium is present in the fourth shell 1 2 3 4 electron is present in the fourth shell if you see going down the group distance is increasing when the distance is increasing attraction force between the nucleus and the outermost electron is decreasing when the attraction is decreasing from nucleus to outermost shell energy required is less because when there is more attraction we should apply more amount of energy to break that attraction but when the distance is more there will be less attraction so we want only less amount of energy to remove that outermost electron that's why going down the group ionization energy value decreases due to the increasing of atomic size that's why ionization energy is inversely proportional to the atomic size atomic size increases ionization energy will decrease if ionization energy is increasing means atomic size is decreasing like that we should consider here and if we in the period from left to right ionization energy increases that means we should apply more amount of energy to remove outermost electron because see here beryllium boron carbon nitrogen and oxygen these are present in the in one period beryllium if you see 1s2 and 2s2 that means it last outermost electrons are present in the second shell boron is 1s2 2s2 2p1 means in the same shell electrons are present number of shells are not increasing the electrons are adding in the same shell if you see the carbon structure in the same shell 1s2 2s2 2p2 here more two electrons are adding and if you see the nitrogen same shell that means if you observe here these diagrams the distance between distance between the nucleus and outermost shell is same because electrons are going on adding in the same shell that means size is not changing but the number of electrons are going on adding in the same shell thereby the charge nuclear force of attraction increases when the force of attraction is more we have to apply more amount of energy to break that bond and to remove that outermost electron that's why ionization energy increases from left to right in a period and other factor is screening effect screening effect means this screening of nucleus fr from outside with the innermost shell is called that means this shell is called first shell this is screening the outside that means covering the outer shell from the nucleus when there is more screening effect then there will be a less attraction then easily we can remove electron that's why more is the screening effect less will be the ionization energy that's why i have written here ionization energy is inversely proportional to screening effect that means covering effect of outside electron to the nucleus 
In the same way, ionization energy is directly proportional to stable gas configuration. Means, ionization energy is more when the stable gas configuration is more. If you see the nitrogen 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. 2p3 means in the p orbital electrons are present that means half filled or completely filled shells are always stable than the incomplete shells that's why that type of configuration is called as stable gas configuration if you see here stable configuration of nitrogen is like this if you consider oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p2 in the p shell only here p orbital with three electrons that means it is half filled but oxygen is only one and two it is not filled it is incompletely filled and it is half filled always half filled or fully filled shells are more stable than the half filled configuration that's why fully filled configurations or a half filled configurations are called as stable configurations stable configuration elements have ionization energy is more than the incompletely filled configuration elements so ionization energy is more if stable configuration is there and then ionization energy is directly proportional to I said here effective nuclear charge more the charge of proton is there more will be the ionization energy because protons attraction will be more towards outermost electron so these are the factors that affects ionization energy and this is the trend of ionization energy in the periodic table with this I'll end my topic thank you